forgive me for my sins. Oh, Lord, forgive me for my sins. The lights in here are getting dim. I wish they'd turn them up again. Oh, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Coretta and my mother were walking, I think it was on Columbus Avenue. Martin lived in an apartment uh, on Columbus Avenue, right next door to the tennis courts. And they were going someplace. Martin came along. She introduced him. And, you know, they chatted for a little while. And then they left. And then my mother says, later on that evening, Martin called her on the phone and said, um, I'm interested in that girl you were with today. And, <laughs> and, and that's how, you know, the, the, the romance got started, I guess. And then on my way to dancing school, you heard music. I heard music. There was music coming from everywhere. Uh, so I felt a very rich in music. It was just a part of my life since I was a kid. My mother was played rock and roll at home. Uh, I didn't hear jazz in my house. I heard rock and roll, pretty much. Um, and when I went outside and walked to dancing school, walked Columbus Avenue, Mass Avenue, Tremont Street, I heard jazz. If I was at Washington Street, Northampton Station, jazz. I have an adopted sister. It affected her. She went to school at East Boston High. And uh, my father caught her going out of the house one morning with a knife in her bra. Why are you doing that? She said, because somebody's threatening me. But she wouldn't give him any more information. So she was scared to be on the bus. Uh, at one point, uh, he was abusing my Aunt Edna, <laughs> and I ran upstairs, and I, a friend of my cousin Marie's had given me a sheath knife. Uh, I got it, and I ran downstairs, and I started swinging at him with it and backed him up. And I can remember my saying, you leave my auntie alone, you leave my auntie alone. And the whole family was shocked. And everybody sort of quietly just sort of dissipated. And my father took the knife and put it back up where I had gotten it. But he never messed with that knife. <laughs> and we came back out and waited until he got there and showed us the house. And then he took us and showed us other houses, but we all came back to that as that's the house we want. And after passing papers, he looked at us and said, I pity you people. You got three strikes against you. He had asked our religion. Our name was Barnes. He said, that's a strike. He said, your religion is Catholic, and that's a strike in a Jewish neighborhood. And he looked at my husband as he said, oh, you're black, that's three strikes. I discover things that give me such joy. I discovered a piece of what I call hidden art uh, about a, oh, a little more than a year ago. And it's right, it's a block away from here. It's where the monument is. There is a metal light pole that the top was broken off of and there was rebar hanging out of it and some artist made a bronze cap and put it on top of that. But the bronze cap has a hooded sweatshirt on the top and it's in a memory of Trayvon Martin. And it's very subtle but it's very, very powerful. And I especially like the fact that it's something that you discover. There's been no advertising. My jewelry engraver engraved the legend on it, and she didn't know that it was right there across the street from her house. Um, what did the legend on the statue you mentioned say? Do you remember the words? Yes. It was one word, 
and it was on the side of the bronze statue, and it said, still, 2014. And it made, I think it makes it pretty clear to anyone that, that stumbles across it what it's about. It's very elegant, wonderfully done. I don't remember the name of the artist, but their name is also on it. Um, what, what did the word still mean to you when you saw it? To me, it seemed really very obvious that black men are still being persecuted in 2014, that this young unarmed man could die just immediately because of someone, because of the racism in someone's heart. It's still happening in 2014. I might say it's still happening in 2018. You know, that, that uh, plaque's been there for a little while. And it really, it is something that I embrace because it, it makes me think that other people are thinking about it as well.